you just got your new Samsung phone and you want to make the best out of it. This is how you do it. And after getting rid of all the stuff that I don't want, the pre-installed bloatware. And some more bloater. You guys don't need to see this. And by the way, if you chose light over dark, get out. But anyways, after setting it up, oh my god! And after putting my SD card in, which has my backup, there it's inserted. Okay. Let's uninstall all of these apps. This is not usually what you should do at first, but you can. Amazon. Okay, we got everything. Okay first thing to do is well let me just restore my backup that was on the SD card so the first thing that you want to do is set a wallpaper so let's just set this done okay so this is how it looks right now most people just stop it here and continue using on the phone they don't customize you more at literally at all in fact, some people don't even change the wallpaper, they put the default wallpaper. But if you're watching this video, there's a high chance that you're not a person like that. So let me show you how. So first of all, go to wallpaper and style. Let's put a color palette. Okay, so color palette is basically the device choosing a color palette from your wallpaper. If you don't have anything that you like either in basic colors or in wallpaper colors I'll tell you a trick but later not now and I'm gonna go with that yeah just that also uh, if you don't want a icon like a custom icon pack you can you can turn on app apply palette to app icons that just changes all the Samsung icons and some Google icons and some other apps as well not every app but some apps to whatever palette it is so if I turn that on you will see that it turns gray but I'm not going to do that because oh my god get out not going to do that because I don't I'm gonna put an app icon like a custom icon back so back to settings first thing we should do is navigation bar so just search that up and you get it so in navigation bar you got a bunch of options I this is uh, swipe gestures by default because a lot of it by default is just that when I restored my data that's what I got because my old phone where well, my old my data used to have that <laughs> it's not unsafe it's safe okay so usually it's buttons that's that's what you get by default so that's this back home recent I like swipe gestures swipe gestures sorry and you got two options either swipe from bottom which means if you swipe from this side it will be back home recent or the traditional android way home uh, long press and hold recents and back from the side you can also hide it if you want like me because i like i like to have a full screen phone and you know nothing on there so yeah Now what we need is, oh my god, all the apps are being installed. 
okay go ahead and open the galaxy store and we are going to install good luck you can only get good luck through the galaxy store okay so good luck is basically a third party app made by samsung but if you don't like third party apps let's real quick go back and see all the settings that you have on this so first of all we can hide apps so things like bixby that which can be activated by power button don't really need that it is a lot that's my service provider Google TV, I'm gonna uninstall that. I don't have a Google TV. And if I just continue scrolling messages, because I use this messages and not that messages. Samsung free. Tips I'm gonna uninstall. YouTube music. Okay, let's go back to uninstalling some apps. <laughs> Tips, goodbye. Okay, now back to GoodLock. So, GoodLock is basically an app, a third party app, as I said. But the thing about it is that you got different modules. So, let's quickly go ahead and install theme park install and while that's being installed let's go to the play store and install an app icon pack I go with this thing called icons oh my god just gonna type in white, co white icon yeah white icons Store done. Let's go back. You can install any app icon, but this is what I like. So, yeah, start allow on this. You can more you can add a custom theme. Like, if you go here next. You can see I can modify each and every single part, you can choose the colors, all of it. You can change the keyboard, you can change the quick panel, you can change the icon, but and the volume panels. Let's change the icon. So, icon pack, icons, how do you even pronounce that? Anyways, now. As you can see some apps do not have so let's press change icons and we get the whole list of icons so something that this thing does not do is some apps like phone I prefer the Samsung version of it I'll show you what I mean if I go to phone you can see that this thing is not that thing I prefer that over the other one and uh, let me just real quick do that i'm just gonna wait because i have more apps being installed in the background so yeah okay all my apps are done installing so that means oh my god Okay, let's go back <coughs> to theme park create new as I said icon pack okay uh, let me just real quick change icons and we should have a bunch of apps okay just wait one second if the app does not have one for example this is uh, I forgot I'll tell you soon camo it's camo so that's basically an app where changes your webcam it changes your phone's camera as well it uses your phone camera as a webcam 
so the thing is this thing does not have app icon the white white cons does not make an app icon for that so I'm just gonna choose a random camera and same for insta360 but you know how insta360's actual logo is like a rotated camera see it's something like that it's like a circle cam it's like a circle so yeah and minecraft education yeah i have both minecraft education and minecraft bedrock pocket edition i guess i'll just take book not no not close. just wait one second okay i did most of them except for race to answer micro and micro gesture i'll tell you why but not right now okay so once you download it give it a name and click apply there we go okay now you'll see that all your app icons are you know like d different so let me just real quick uninstall some useless apps that got installed okay so let's talk about some apps that you need WTMP okay what does WTMP do basically it takes a picture every time you turn on your phone so if I just do that and give it all the usage access it needs and I turn off my phone I turn it back on there you see that the camera was detected and you can see my face okay that's WTMB next is race to answer it's simple whenever you get a call just put your phone near your ear the call is then answered but there is a problem all of these things like for example call to answer it's kind of useless as in like useless to open the app so I don't really need to see that so let me just quickly hide all of those you can also hide your icon packs so yeah okay now I've done that Okay, now something that I like to do is we'll remove all widgets first and you know kind of adjust it to the wallpaper but before we do that we're gonna go back to good luck because if you want to do that you need to kind of modify it a bit so once you're in good luck you I'll, I'll tell you how to change the color pad manually so in theme park go to change change color palette and you can change it now you want to go ahead and install home up okay open home up start allow turn on okay home first of all i like to have really small of uh, icons so yeah let me just do that real quick and you can also turn on app list so it's like the typical Android phone but I don't want that so yeah folder open in pop-up so it will just open like that okay you can modify it I modified it and now any app icon it will open like that right now everything is horrible but yeah back to this task changer so if you turn on well let's just turn it off this is how your typical recent menu look if you turn it on you can change it to vertical list slim list stack grid 
I like vertical list and I don't like the circular version of it so this is how it's gonna look now. now I do not care about the search bar or the recommended apps just cleans everything up and something else that I do not want is the icon label app icon label so now you got this clean look as soon as you clean it so yeah okay now you just go ahead and move and arrange your app so let me just do that real quick okay now I got everything set up I've you know changed it all so for the these two and X why did they change the name like the word was nice okay we got everything now let's talk about micro gesture so real quick open it okay so how do you use micro gesture well first of all turn it on you have to you know can turn it on and accessibility so let's just real quick do that So you get a bunch of, you know, actions using your gesture. So Y axis by any single center. Well, you can, you know, modify this. This is what I really like. This is well, not really like this. Is what the this is what the settings that I put. I'll show you real quick. So now back, back is like that. That's home. That's recents there yeah. home so yeah just changes all your gestures on your phone okay, here's something else if you're like me and you use more than one browser you can have one of those one search bar but then have two search bars when you swipe left so how do you do it well click on a widget well ho hold you know on a widget press create stack choose whatever widget you want for example yeah screen time sure as you can see now we got this it changes and you can also edit stack you can add more you can delete more so far there's no limit well peop no one has found the limit if you want to go ahead and find it go ahead but yeah that's pretty much it now just log into everything you know outlook gmail everything so yeah bye